Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a treat for you. This is one of the superest Super C's that is out there on the market today. This is the 2024 Tiffin Allegro Bay 38AB and this thing is an absolute behemoth. It is sitting on the Freightliner custom chassis so it drives smooth. It's got a lot of power. It's got a good turning radius. Everything about this just screams out luxury from the tile to the cabinets, handmade down in Alabama. Uh, you guys are going to love it. I hope you guys do. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description. It also should pop up on the screen along with the floor plan. So make sure to check that out. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this thing. I'm hoping weather permits been kind of sprinkling on and off that I'll be able to do the outside portion of this tour but I do want you to see this absolutely beautiful paint job you can also get it in a couple different custom variations all of which you can see down in that description with uh, a link to the manufacturer website so I hope you guys utilize that if you guys are seriously in the market but feel free to hit me hit me up I would love to don't hit me hit me up give me a call uh, if you guys are in the market but again it's the 2024 Allegro Bay 30 a B and right when you walk in the first thing you're gonna see is super slides tons of space you get your theater seating dinette overhead cabinetry beautiful ceiling light fixture right there I love that just opens it up makes it nice light and bright but then you have this other super slide over here with a sofa that pulls out to make a bed a TV good windows which are all gonna be let me close this here real quick. We got a tractor going down the highway, cutting grass. It's like perfect timing for me. But then, uh, sorry, uh, where was I at? You have a sofa that pulls out, and it pulls out to make a queen size bed too, which is nice for your guests. Really comfortable. So whether they're recliner sleepers, you know, dinette sleepers if they're children, or if you need something a little bit more, a little bit more fancy, a little bit more accommodating, you can absolutely do that. You got your shotgun style bathroom, so toilet over there, shower over there, a bedroom with an east to west slide bed that also has a washer and dryer. But then right over here is your kitchen. We'll get into more in depth here of that here in a second. But first I want to start off with what makes you know class C kind of special. It's going to be that front cab. That's what's going to separate this from being a class A. So it's going to have a little bit more versatility, you know, as far as sleeping. And I love the way that Allegro Bay did this. So first. You notice that it is light and bright. It is glowing. You have these LED lights that have kind of like a blue kind of hue to them, you know, which I really like. But you also see you got a window up here, hopefully for a good view, possibly some stargazing. But you have outlets and controls right up here as well. So you notice you get the accent lights here and there, which are going to be kind of that white light. And then right here, you got kind of that blue light that cuts in and out. So a couple different mood setters, which I think, you know, is pretty darn cool. You're also going to see, and this is a good place to view it, you have your soft touch ceiling. So that's going to be, you know, added insulation. That's going to be noise deadening, you know, all that good stuff, along with a privacy curtain that goes across. Now, one thing that I, it actually kind of cracked me up because I was thinking my family, you know, we got uh, four kids, three dogs, two cats, and that bearded dragon. And everywhere we go, every single time, the kids are always screaming, giving out directions. You know, they're their backyard or the backseat drivers. Well, they actually thought about that and put on this curtain right here. It's, it's hilarious to me. They put a blackout curtain for the passengers, for that driver, which is just, I don't know. I find it kind of humorous. Maybe you do too. I don't know. But so right here, you just grab this, you click, and right there, the Dracula shade goes up. You're also going to see that it is on the strut system right there. So it is hands-free. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. She's making a beef stew at home, Mexican style. Can't wait to have that. That's going to be delicious. But when I was driving this around, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, um, you know that I don't know the Class C's, you know, as well as some other people, especially when you get into these absolutely massive Tiffins. Now, I'm learning pretty quick because of my background. But one thing that I noticed is this right here. If you push down on it, it's obviously got some like air horn that's underneath it or some air donut or something that is making that a really comfortable drive. You couldn't even feel it. It's like you were, you know, kind of just floating, just floating as you're driving down. That Freightliner chassis was also so much quieter than I ever believed. 
The turning radius was great. The power was unbelievable. It's just a really smooth ride, and it's probably why these things are, you know, coming at such a premium price. It's a premium product, that's for sure. And you can feel it when you're driving around. Kind of got the digital select right there, uh, which is pretty darn nice. You also have your controls for your windows. You know, your lock, your parking brake, auxiliary start. So if the battery dies on the chassis portion, that'll draw power from the RV portion, and it'll allow you to kick on your camper. Your radio and camera, you can toggle that on. Shows up on the screen here for you. Generator start, you know, mirror heat and all that. Power outlets, pretty classic uh, chassis setup, but it is in the Freightliner, so it's just a little nicer. The touch and feel on it's absolutely fantastic. All right, Class C, whew. I'm talking too fast. My round belly self is getting out of breath. So flip it back around, and man, I just posted this video of a um, with the black exterior a couple days on TikTok, and it actually got like 1.2 million views, which is pretty crazy. But people, you know, obviously agree that this thing is absolutely beautiful. You have this super slide over here, and again, you have the custom handmade cabinetry. So you got kind of that hexagonal print for the glass insert. But one thing that I've always noticed about Tiffin is how well made it is, and that's because down in Red Bay, they actually have their own cabinetry division. So it's really nice that they actually carve that out all hand, but it also allows it to open up really nice and flat. Most of those brands will kind of kind of sag a little bit. You also have you know the brass brush right there. So it's all gonna stay up on that strut system, but one continuous piece all the way through. The valances are also you know handmade down there, and each and every window does open up so you can get a nice you know little cross breeze. And they all got the old Dracula shade and then the half drac shade. So that way you can let in a little bit of sun or no sun. Another thing that I really enjoy are what I would like to call the, you know, these cuddle couches, the cuddle uh, you know, recliners. They're absolutely massive. And I'm a bigger guy, so having that bigger space you know, is really, really useful to me. You get the two stainless steel cup holders along with a little place to put some remotes. But you have two different controls. So if for some reason you're someone that could sit like that, uh, you have the ability. For me, I, there's no freaking way that I could ever bend like that. But you can also kick that out and watch how flat you know, this thing goes. So you just lower that top part. If you're a recliner sleeper, uh, this is going to be absolutely perfect. This is somewhere that I could see myself, you know, setting up and sleeping. Uh, absolutely no problem. And it's directly across from the TV and entertainment, you know, which is always a big time plus. So you have a really good view. So at night, you sit back, relax, you know, watch a movie and you are good to go. You have some controls for the unit right here all on a touchscreen pad. You also get the two USBs, and you have an oversized dinette right here. So you can drop this down to make some extra sleeping space, which is always a plus. You just turn that, and it just goes down by hand. But you also get a little bit of storage there underneath as well. You're also going to see you got some speakers there up above. You make a good, you know, kind of uh, audio experience, I guess you'd say. The slide heights are also pretty nice. So I'm six feet tall. You notice that I'm not bonking my head. I'd probably put that right at about six foot or six one. You can feel it tickling the hairs. LG TV, another window that opens up. Again, this sofa does create a queen size bed, so it'll come out to right about there. But look at these tiles as well. Hand laid tile. You know, it's got the true grout. Every time you buy one, it does come with extra tiles as well in case you do drop something, you know, and chip it. You know, you're not. Uh, you know, you're not overly mad. I mean, it sucks for sure, but, uh, you know, it's nothing that's going to really, really kind of destroy the, the value of the RV because you can ungrout it, reroute it, and you're good to go. Right over here, you're going to notice a lot of countertop space, especially when you drop the top to the induction cooktop. So I think that is a pretty handy feature. You also have, you know, the storage, which is adjustable. And right over here, you know, you got Bob Tiffin's signature. This thing was made on 925-23 when this went across the line. Just a nice little added touch to tell you that, you know, Tiffin is very still much involved, you know, in the Tiffin. It's still a family business, just has a new umbrella to it. So right over here is going to be your fantastic fan. Helps you uh, suck out the steam or stink from whatever you're cooking. Hand tiles here in the back too as well. Really nice touch, really nice finish to it. But the induction cooktop is nice because it's... Um, you know, it's friendly with the heat transfer, so it won't burn your hand, but you put down special pots right there. You're also going to notice you do get uh, the dishwasher. Who likes to do dishes? You know, I sure don't. I'm sure as heck not going to do it in something that costs this much. Pull this out right here. 
ton of extra countertop space, love to see it. But then also underneath, you do get some extremely long and functional storage there too. I mean, look how incredible that is. Bada bing, bada boom, you lock it up. I mean, how freaking long are those cabinets gonna be? That's nuts. Underneath the dishwasher, you do get some additional space there as well. You also get some more right here. Lift this up, dual stainless steel undermounted sink along with your high rise faucet. Hitting those dishes from all angles. It's also cut out of the same material so it'll have the same pattern all the way through. And then underneath, you do get some access to your plumbing and some additional storage along with a little uh, you know, garbage can. Big old LG refrigerator. This is going to be your residential style. So you open that up, and as you can tell, 20 cubic foot. This is going to be just like the one that's inside your home. You know, it's not, if not a little bit nicer, it's a little bit nicer than the one that I've got. But you actually have a freezer section that'll keep stuff frozen, you know, along with an ice maker. So it's really nice to have that inside your RV. Ooh, sorry, camera's getting a little wonky on me. Let's see there, bada bang, there you go. All right, so right over here, this is gonna be your control center for the entire camper. Right now, if I mentioned it, it's 52 degrees outside, so it's getting a little chilly. I've got it plugged into the electric, so I went ahead and put on the heat pump, but you also got your furnace and your AC over here, you know, interior heat, quiet mode, electric, all sorts of fun stuff to play. You also have a little touch grab that you can do right there, or you can do, you know, the up and down arrows. All your lighting controls can also be controlled from right here as well. So you can hit that master button and shut down all the lights or you can individually click, you know, which one you want. You have your electric grid right here so you can check out, you know, your chassis health, your house battery health, your inverter, generator, all that good stuff. And then all your slides, you don't even have to read all that well. It gives you different safety. Can you turn it on right now? Is there a red portion? Yes. So you have to turn on your ignition. Extend, retract, extend, retract. Again, makes it really nice and easy. It also lets you know the slides are not ready. And then you have your settings where you can go through your different fans, your ceiling fan, high and low, you know, all that good stuff, all in one convenient place. And uh, yeah, just really nice and easy, functional in one spot. You also have the settings button, you know, where you can go through and run your diagnostics, sitting uh, system updates, you know, your times for the unit as well, along with, you know, your theme and your brightness, change it to Celsius if you're in Canada, you know, all that good stuff. Another thing that I really enjoy is this door has kind of dual purpose. So it makes a wall, but it also, you know, makes a, uh, a door. So right here you have your shower and you're gonna notice you have your tri-glide glass series. This is not the widest shower in the world, but when you get in, it's actually a little bit larger because this wall, it's kind of recessed into it. So the Tri-Guy glass series allows a smaller space, you know, to become larger for the opening. So, you know, I'm six feet, 300 pounds. The shower would normally be too small for me if it ends right here, but it doesn't. It goes into there. It's a little bit wider and the Tri-Guy glass series allows me to get into it. You also see the head height, you know, you're looking at about six, one or so. And I think I read that this is a 10 by 14 uh, view for the uh, for the like the, su the sunrise whatever you want to call that the uh, skylight it also has the shower miser which if you're not familiar with the shower miser that basically you turn that on and all the water inside your fresh tank will spin around until you kind of unleash it and then it starts coming from the shower head already hot and you never wasted any water going through it so right in here is going to be your bathroom you get a lot of space in this so you get the old porcelain throne with the foot flush. And you can see I'm not struggling at any places. You know, my shoulders is not doing it. Definitely round belly approved for the bathroom. The tile even goes into the bathroom. You're going to see you get pull three pull-out drawers along with a couple outlets. Access to your plumbing and very clean cut, sturdy storage. They didn't skimp. A lot of times in these RVs, they use a really, really thin board, probably about an eighth of an inch. But that's about a half inch thick board right there, which is a big time plus and speaks to some of the extras uh, that they are going to just to make sure the longevity on this thing stays on par for you. You also got a little lip right there, about half a knuckle deep. Got the old bowling gun right there, baby. Another fantastic fan to help circulate some of that air. 
Make sure you don't bomb up the whole camper. <laughs> And then back into the bedroom. This is one of my favorite bedrooms for all Class C. So you have my personal favorite setup. You have the east to west slide bed, meaning the bed is not running right here. It's running this way. But the slide allows you to have a little bit more space. You're also going to notice on both sides, you're going to have a little bit of storage. And then also USB there as well, which is always a big time plus. Underneath. Get a little bit of access there for your maintenance. Some lights that I forgot to turn on, uh, but you kind of get the gist of it. Just like that, a bunch of windows for a good view. And then look how big this cabinetry is. So if you wanted to, you have the electric hookups on this side and on that side for a CPAP machine. You simply just plug it in there and we can actually route you a little hole right there. Uh, so that way you can place it up and you're good to go. But again, look how high you know, the cabinetry is. That's just a nice little added touch because of those struts little fan to help circulate some of the air, an emergency exit, so pull, push, and plop, you can get out in a hurry. You're also going to notice you get a ton of storage. So you're going to have two closets in here. One's going to have the washer, and the other one's going to have the dryer. But look at that. You got kind of a couple's coach as far as, you know, each person gets their own closet. So if you're doing some extended stays, you get a lot of hanging space. You also get a lot of dresser drawer space right here. So you're going to notice you get four of these, and then you're also going to get, you know, that. And I love how it's partitioned off there in the middle because they snuck in the fuse box right here. So it's hidden and out of the way. If you have kids coming with you, grandkids, anything like that, you know, they're not going to accidentally open it up and play around with this thing. And then there's going to be your LG TV. And then back behind it, uh, there is some more storage. So maybe you could put some valuable stuff back there. Uh, things that you want kind of off the beaten path that most people, unless they own this, you know, would never know that it's here. But also comes with a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, DVD player. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, it's the 2023 or 2024 Tiffin 38KA. Okay, is that right? Why am I blanking out right now? Uh, 38AB, Jizo, Pete, sorry about that. My name is Hunter. Hit that like and subscribe button if you don't mind. I'm going to walk around the outside, show you a couple things, and hopefully with the light and the camera, uh, we get to show you a couple stuff. All right. Automatic steps, which are always nice, and I like how the door latches in place too. You don't have to worry, you know, about the wind. As you can see, it's really nice and sturdy, but you got a screen door there as well. You got the frameless windows, an exterior TV, LED lights here underneath. Also underneath the Gerard awnings, you do get the LED lights there as well. They also come out arm free with a wind sensor. Again, you get the side cameras there as well to get really good view of when you're driving down the road. No blind spots. This is going to be a pass through storage, so feel free to put a ladder or something of that nature down. But look at that. I mean, that's some incredible storage. Got the Dirt Devil. Allegro Bay. Another thing that I really enjoy is watch this. You get to within four inches, how it just kind of automatically pushes itself right there. You don't have to worry about it. Nice and secure. Bam. Heading up the back, you get your receiver hitch. You also have a seven-way plug-in for all of your towing. This is going to be your fill-up so for your gas. You also have your frameless windows, and then right there is going to be your backup camera as well. Your aqua hot, so that's going to be your heating zone. Big old 8,000 QD owned and generator. That's going to be quiet diesel. That puts out a tremendous amount of power. It'll absolutely run everything in this RV. You know, no problemo. Your power cord rail, water softener. Notice how you have that, uh, those uh, automatic lights. And then right here, this is going to be your valve for your black and gray tank. But you can also, well, you can angle that and move it so it faces up there as well.
It's going to be your docking station, so you have your hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower. Water pump, water connections, tank fills, tank flush. It's basically a fancy sprinkler system there for your, um, for your poop tank. And then a ton more just like the other side of that pass-through storage there. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope you have a wonderful night. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2024 Tiffin Allegro Bay 38AB. Have a good one. See ya.